What's up YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to be looking at Deathfire. He has once again returned to the item shop. It's almost been a year I believe last time he was around was around October. So without further ado guys, let's get this review started. Deathfire. He is a progressive skin, he is also a legendary skin. But does he match the rarity? I honestly don't think he matches the rarity, he's more of a epic skin in my opinion. He's pretty cool, he does change as you progress in the game, the longer you live, the more kills you get. He starts evolving into like a zombie version of himself, which is pretty cool, I do like the concept. But it doesn't go really well with players that really aren't that good at the game. Because if you're not really good at the game, you're not gonna see that progression and you're just gonna have a basic skin. That's why I think he should be an epic skin, but more on that. Shackled Stone is the backlink he comes with. Uh, it's basically little Kev, it just has chains around it. Pretty cool, it's also progressive backlink. Again, if you're not really good at the game, you're not gonna see those changes, so I really don't like that. I wish it would've had an option where either, it's either you have the stone regularly like you normally do, or you have it glowing, which would've been a lot better in my opinion. If they had that, it would've actually appealed to me to buy it as a legendary item. So I did this review back when he first came out about 11 months ago. I gave it a 6 out of 10 and then the more I look at it now, the more I'm actually disappointed on the skin. I really haven't used it. My final rating for Deathfire, for me he dropped, I'm giving him a 5 out of 10. He's cool but it doesn't fit the legendary criteria. The backlink doesn't fit the legendary criteria. If they would've not added little cap, I would've rated it higher. But it stands right now, I really don't like it. So with that being said guys, let's see what combos go with Deathfire. For my first combination, I am using the Grande pack that we obtained yesterday's skin, the Rio Grande. It is from the same set, but the color schemes really do match. It does give it that cowboy feel he does have on. It looks pretty clean. And for the Harvin tool, we're going with the Shop now. Pretty cool in my opinion, the color scheme really do match. It has the black, it has the brown, it has the chains. Looks real clean on him. It's a very simplistic Harvin tool and looks really good on him, especially because it matches his color hat, which is black. And for the glider, we are going with the Cover Crusader again. It is from the same set. It's pretty clean in my opinion. I like the simplistic look of it. It gives it that Wild Wild West feeling. Looks real good. And for the Contra, we are going with the Virulent Flames. The Contra really does match him perfectly, especially when he does have that zombie look to him. As of right now, it doesn't really look that great. And for the Rap, we're going for the Fiend Rap. He does have those colors when the more you progress throughout the game and it looks really well. So enjoy the showcase. For my next combination, I do have the Buckled. The Buckled is a very simplistic backlink, really underrated, hardly anybody ever uses it, including myself, but it looks really good with the Dead Fire. The color schemes looks really good, especially with the all brown backlink. He does have all browns besides the hat, but overall it looks really good on him. For the Harvesting tool, we are using the Carver, a very clean Harvesting tool, not a lot of people use it as again, underrated. It does have the same noise as the Reaper Harvesting tool. And in my opinion, it's a little bit better, looks cool. And for the glider, we're gonna go with the crossfire. A very simplistic glider. Again, it does have that Wild Wild West theme to it, so it looks really good with him. For the Contra, we're going with a special essence. Nothing too special here, just a regular Contra. And for the rat, we are going with a driftwood. The color scheme of the driftwood, especially the wood part itself, looks really good. Gives it that brown look to it, looks really clean with the skin. So enjoy the combo. For my last combination, I do have the Runic Shield. The Runic Shield is an all brown backlink. It looks pretty cool. It does have that center, that 
glow, the blue glow. But hear me out, guys. It looks really good, especially when you start getting kills and start surviving more. The skin itself does change, and it goes really well with that glow. For the harvesting tool, we are going with the right reapers. The curse skin of the right reapers looks really good, especially on this skin. It looks like a serial killer, and I really like that about it. For the glider, we're going with the founder's glider. I really don't like him with umbrellas due to the fact that he is big and bulky, and I really don't like it with umbrellas. But it looks really good with gliders, so we're going with the founder's glider. For the Contra, we're going with the Phantasm, a pretty simplistic Contra, looks really good, especially when he starts changing colors. And for the Rat, we're going with the Call Sign Falcon, the color scheme of the Call Sign Falcon looks really good, especially with the color scheme he does have. So enjoy the combos guys. Those are the three combinations I've found so far for Deathfire. Let me know in the comments below which is your favorite. He is a very hard skin to do combos with, especially because the color schemes do change drastically whenever he's in game and in the locker. So um, take that in mind when you're looking at these combos. If you like the videos I'm doing, please subscribe. It does help me a lot. And I do videos of your favorite cosmetic skins every single day. And if you want to support me as a creator, my code is the name of kid, all caps, 2D, all together. You don't have to support me, but support a smaller YouTuber that could really use the help. And with that being said, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.